15 years, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smart in the happen so wike obaseki fubara sanwolu ube sani other governors asked to account for over 40 trillion naira local government allocation so they take the money they share and for their self they not give out to local government they not give out to anybody they owe the money to themselves so now now they are asked to 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 speak where is the allocation where is the money where is the money is the big question on everybody's lips. Nigerians are wondering. Now, local governments have not been getting the allocation they should get. So be able to, there is a place for local government. There is what they are supposed to do. And guess what? Local governments have not been able to get don't know that very allocation. You see, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. See what these governors are doing. Can you see for yourself? The Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project Syrup has urged the 36 state governors in the country and the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, Yesomwike, to disclose details of federal allocation meant for local government in their states and in the FCT, an actual disbursement of the allocation to the local government since the return of democracy since 1999. Over 40 trillion naira is missing. Syrup also urged the governors and the EF and the FCT minister to promptly invite the Independent Corrupt Practice and Other Related Offense Commission, ICPC, and the EFCC, the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, to immediately, you know. So these are some of the things going on. You know, EFCC, ICPC to come and investigate the actual disbursement and spending of the federal allocation meant for local government in their state and FCT since 1999. Recall that the former president, Mohamed Buhari, in December 2022, stated, if the money for the federation account to the state is about 100 million, 50 million will be spent to the chairman, but he will sign that he received 100 million. The chairman will pocket the balance and share it with whoever he wants to share it with. In the, in the Freedom of Information request dated 27 January 2024 and signed by Syrup Deputy Director Kolawole Oluwadari, the organization stated that Nigerians have the right to know the details of the actual disbursement and spending of the federal allocation in your state and FCT. Syrup said states and the FCT should be guarded by transparency and accountability, response principles and responsibility, proactivity, publish information meant for the disbursement, the spending of federal allocation meant for local government, according to Syrup. In the amount of the federal government allocation actually disbursed to local government in states have continued to have negative impact in the in the in the fundamental interest of citizens and the people and the public interest the fol's request reads in part we would be grateful if the recommended measures are taken within 7 days of the receipt or publication of this letter if we have not heard from you by then syrup shall consider appropriate legal actions to compare you and your state and FCT to comply with the request in public interest. So that's where we are at. They are supposed to give accounts. They collect money and they pocket it. In fact, what is, if the local government is supposed to have 100 million, you heard what Buhari said. He said the governor will tell the local government chairman to sign for 100 million. The man will sign for he will say he sign for a hundred million, but actually, really sincerely, truly speaking, he only received fifty million. Then they will share the remaining fifty million within themselves. What sort of deceit is that? Well, that's what happens in this country. That's what goes on in this country, and everybody, sincerely, truly, really speaking, is is shocked. Okay, we are really shocked at what is going on, and we don't want this to continue to happen. Because we want Nigeria to be a better place for everybody. These are people who should be telling us the truth, you know. But guess what? 
400, I mean, how many trillion is missing? How many trillion? Obaseki, Wiki, all of you, all the governors put together, where is the money? All of you put together, where is the money? Fubra, all of you, you know, Fubra has just been there for how many months, but where is the money for the local government? What has been happening? You know, everybody is really shocked, you know, at what is going on. Everybody is really surprised. Everybody is thoroughly, really, really surprised at, at, you know, at the disposition of those who are supposed to be leaders. These people are supposed to be given, you know, account accountability to the nation in terms of how they spend money, what is going on, you know. And this is why everybody is surprised and shocked. We think we have leaders who have our interest at heart. But guess what? To a large extent, they are only looking out for themselves. So everybody seems to be, you know, wondering what the next line of action will be. Now, governors are, they said if case is not taken, they'll be taking governors to court. These are supposed to be leaders. These are supposed to be leaders. They are supposed to be leaders. So how do we, how do we ratify all of these things? We must continue to speak out. We must continue to ensure that the truth is being dispensed. Because these people, you know, they've seen money that does not belong to them. And they want to hold on to it. They want to hold on to it. By hook or by crook, they want to hold on to it. What is not meant for them, they want to hold on to it. All of them. Yeah, yeah, Bello, all of you. Eh? Hope is a demo. Where are all of you? All of you should give account. So these are some of the things that are going on. And every one of us needs to understand that, you know, the days are upon us. Where truth must be manifested so that together we can make a whole lot of difference, you know, and save this nation from the current dispensation and make things better. The issue of what is going on now is a clear indication, you know, of, you know, we don't have people of integrity. We lack ma many people of integrity that should, you know, be delivering, you know, be delivering, you know, on truth and helping us get better, you know. So it's, it's really sad, honestly, sincerely, truly speaking, it's sad. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day from us. It's bye for now.